Okay, here we are back at you with uh, more stuff on the new UI, um, formerly known as Metro in Windows 8. Um, if you notice here, as I, I named uh, things that I grouped together, and they're really roughly grouped, okay? Um, you know, media sort of tools, okay? And the way I did that was uh, down in the bottom right corner inside the uh, start screen. There's a little minus button and that shrinks it down and you can move these around mm -hmm. right wherever you like and if if you click again it goes back but what I wanted to do was right click on say this and you can name the group to whatever so name group it's default I'll just leave it at tools and back again um, another thing too is uh, program I use is uh, MRU Blaster. I'm going to pin that to the start. Back to start. Let's drag it into the tools section. Now by default this is not the icon. It's very blank. It's just a default nothing icon in Windows. So if you look down here open file location and it's in the start menu as a shortcut and if you right click properties change icon I picked this one you can pick this one you can pick whatever you want uh, so it's not, not like an ugly like say this so I'll say apply and administrator prompt comes up and you can see how ugly it looks and we'll change it back so this one apply yes <laughs> and we can close that down so it looks a little better Okay, so if you have any really awful looking icons in the start menu, you can change them. Okay. Um, but uh, another thing I noticed too is uh, if you if you look for like along the lines of customizing things, if you look for Notepad, again if you right click and you open the file. Uh, location you can do the same sort of things you did with since the beginning of Windows <laughs> almost go to properties and set a shortcut key it automatically puts in the control alt so you just uh, N for notepad apply okay so if I press control alt N here's notepad so now you have another way to get to notepad um, you have if I do that from within within Metro, it works. So let's try with uh, WordPad. Again, right click, open file location. Actually, this is a much faster way to uh, get to the um, properties of the program. I think. Oh. No, I don't want to change the icon. Uh, da -da 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 shortcut key. Now, I might get an administrator prompt. So WordPad. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. So, control W. Yes, control notepad. Yes, control close. Alt, whoops, not view. Okay, and uh, yeah, if you notice there, if you uh, click on the taskbar and you press the key combination Alt and space, it comes up with close. And that brings up shut down wish they'd make this more obvious but uh, shut down switch user sign out restart etc um, and also I'll do that one more time gives you the hint there alt F4 so you'll get the same effect there on what you want to do with the session and uh, pretty much I'm gonna wrap this up uh, these uh, metro ish tiles um, can be, you can toggle the, the live tile so this is live right now getting the real-time weather as close as it can be but you can turn it off and it goes back to the default weather icon that's good for privacy you know if I had people here which I don't um, it would be the same thing you can turn it off this one I don't care so much it just says one or two <laughs> messages and uh, Last thing I want to say in this is 
if you okay if you access downloads a lot um, you can right click on it in uh, wherever you are uh, this goes to the favorites once you open it so there it is pin to start and you put it wherever you want tools I guess and now it's there so you go oh, downloads well there we go downloads very quick Okay, I think that's yeah, that's about all. That's that's all I can mention right now. There's probably something I'm forgetting, but I know the limitations of the the virtual machine are stopping me from showing some stuff that I really wanted to talk about. But uh, we'll see down the road. So that concludes the Metro. I'm sorry, the new Windows UI in Windows 8 and how to sort of deal with. Uh, this interface and uh, hopefully you found this helpful and um, if you're considering on purchasing Windows 8 in October um, I hope this helps you decide okay so as always thank you so much for watching and uh, we'll talk to you soon and bye for now <laughs>